my name is Emma and I'm the onboarding and communications coordinator here at Catapult Network. Figuring out what to wear in the professional world can be super confusing at times. With dress codes using vague words, it's hard to know exactly what you should wear for different events. Throughout this video, we will give you an overall description of what these dress codes look like, as well as show some photographs to show you exactly what to wear. In doing this, we hope to ease any confusion you have, as well as give you some options for the next day at work. There are a variety of different business attire options, ranging from casual to business formal, and it is always best to check with your company to see which is most appropriate for work days as well as work events. The first attire category that you might run into is casual. These casual clothing can be worn in the office as well as in non-work related settings. Here are some examples of what casual clothing can look like. As you can see from Eric, he's wearing jeans with no holes or stress lines and a nice sweater. And Lex is wearing jeans and a nice shirt. A note we would like to make here is, depending on your company culture, make sure to avoid wearing casual dress with clients or for interviews, even if the office is casual overall. If you're not sure of this protocol, don't be afraid to ask your supervisor. You want to make sure to put your best foot forward. The second category is smart casual, and this is a more polished twist on casual attire. Smart casual can be viewed by pairing professional pieces of clothing with casual pieces of clothing and works great for companies that have a more informal setting. These are some options that you can wear for smart casual pieces. Reagan and AJ are showing what smart casual outfits can look like here. Reagan has taken a nice dress and paired it with cute boots and AJ has dressed well with khakis and a collared shirt. They have taken what might also be considered casual clothing and elevated it to make it seem more refined and professional. The third category is business casual, and this is the most popular business attire throughout a bunch of different companies. Business casual is most appropriate for interviews, client meetings, or any other work events that you may have. Business casual attire can include these are probably very common outfits that you've seen before, but for clarification, Eric has stuck to the guidelines by wearing a button-down, nice trousers, and Lex is in a nice sweater and has accessorized some. Business casual can be a little harder to define, but relying on examples given to you by what others wear in your office should help you get a better idea of what is expected of you. The fourth category we will be going over is business professional, and this category is found in companies with a stricter dress code. Business professional clothing should be tailored to fit you specifically. As you can see here, they are both looking sharp in professional clothing. Reagan and AJ both are wearing well-fitted suits with AJ in a button-down and Reagan in a nice blouse. They look comfortable but professional and are ready to take on their workday. The final category of dress we'll be going over is business formal. Business formal attire is reserved for the most formal settings, like awards ceremonies, different events, or benefits. Here are what clothing would look like for business formal. Eric is dressed in a nice suit with a button-down shirt and Reagan with nice pants, blouse, and loafers. Our models have done an exceptional job here by showing what type of clothing pertains to each dress code while maintaining professionalism throughout their outfits. We hope we have given you some insight on the different dress codes you may find in the professional world. If you still have any questions on what you should wear for your first day, your biggest clue will be asking your coworkers or just looking at what they have to wear in the day to day. And if you still have more questions, you can always refer back to this video on different specific questions that you may have. As always, like and subscribe and keep an eye out for some great new videos.